Is it a boost to a mid-state community organization or just animal cruelty? That's the question surrounding the biggest event of the year in Bedford County, and it's going on right now, the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us how a new bill in Congress could drastically change what the Tennessee walking horse industry looks like. It's a debate about a horse's gait that surrounded Bedford County's famous Tennessee walking horse celebration for years. The question, do the weighted hoof pads and other devices some trainers use to give Tennessee walking horses their exaggerated walking style harm the horses? A group gathered at the Shelbyville Town Square today to say yes. The American Veterinary Medical Association is firmly against this. The American Horse Council, which represents all the breeds, will not let the Tennessee walking horse breed be a member because of what you just described. Pads and chains. It's an addiction. Got to go cold turkey. The U.S. Senate is currently looking at a bill that would ban those devices, but most of those in the walking horse industry say if the devices are used properly, they do not hurt the horses. Two scientific studies have proven definitively that the weighted shoe and the action devices as today, legally today, do not harm the horse in any way, shape or form. At stake is hundreds of thousands of dollars that local civics groups receive from the proceeds generated at the celebration each year. All these count on the celebration and proceeds they gather from concessions or parking to fund their philanthropic events for the community. But those opposed to the devices say those groups should look for money somewhere else. No charitable donation is worth animal cruelty. Cut and dried. Cut and dried. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.